Hello, so today we are going to see how to install Cassandra using Docker on Windows. So first step would be to download and install Docker desktop. So go to your browser, open Google and type download Docker for Windows. So just click on it and download. So I'm going to cancel this uh, as I have already downloaded uh, the setup. So I'm going to just double click on it. Installation will take some time. And once the installation is done, uh, you need to reboot your system. So installation will take some time. Once the installation is done, just click on close. Then open the command prompt, type docker images. So you, you might get this error. So open the docker desktop. Accept. So I'm going to continue without signing in. So Docker Angel will, will start and we would be able to uh, see the result of the command over there in the command prompt. So for the first time, it will take some time for Docker desktop to start. So right now there are no containers here. So let's again go back to command prompt and execute Docker images. So as we are able to see, there are no images here. So now we are going to type Docker pull Cassandra. This will pull the image of Cassandra into our Docker and we would be able to see it as a part of our images. Okay. So as we are able to see the Cassandra image. So if we go to the Docker desktop and uh, click on the images, we should be able to see the Cassandra image here. So either we can uh, run the uh, container from here, um, but for the first time what we are going to do is we are going to execute the command. Um, so we are going to copy this command and uh, paste into the command prompt. So this is the command. So this is the command that we are going to uh, execute only for the one, one time.
So you will get output something like this. Uh, output might be differ. So now if we again press Docker images, Now in Docker PS, we would be able to see that this is the image and it is created 26 seconds ago and this is the status. So it is up. So we can go into our Docker desktop and uh, we can go to the containers and we would be able to see that the container is running. Uh, so from the next time what you can do is you can stop and start the container from docker desktop itself so the next step is here to type docker exec fnit and the container id that we can get by using this command and bash here we will connect to our Cassandra so right now I have connected to Cassandra cluster Now we are going to create a sample key space. So this is a key space that we are going to create here. So I'm going to create one key space where we are going to have our table created and we will insert one sample record. So if we describe key spaces, we would should be able to see the test key space here so we are going to type use test so we are into test key space and now we are going to create a sample table here so i'm going to create a student table uh, which will have id name city fees and the contact so we have the table ready uh, we can describe the table and we would be able to see the output here and I'm going to insert one sample record so insert into student ID name these are the columns and these are the values uh, that I'm inserting so let's see if the records are inserted or not so yes done So we have successfully seen how to download and install the Docker desktop, then get the Cassandra image, start the container, connect to the container, then connect to Cassandra, create a key space, create a table and insert the record. Hope you like the video and enjoy the session. Thank you. So that's it for today guys, thank you for watching the video.